Here's how you can deliver highly engaging product demos, live virtual training sessions and streams without being stuck to your desk. Welcome to Manicamp's channel. In this video, we're going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use the new remote control feature available on Windows, Mac, Android and iOS. While live on conference calls or streams, what you can do is switch between your scenes or presets on Manicam directly from your mobile device without needing to be at your desk at all times. This allows you to deliver much more engaging business presentations, live product demos, virtual training sessions, remote classes, and so on. Here we're using Manicam Lite, but you can also follow the same steps on Manicam 7 if you download the current version available. What we want to do here is connect our Manicam desktop to our mobile device that we want to use as a remote control. So first, let's set up some scenes and we can then use the remote control to switch between them. So in this first scene, I'm going to create a very common layout for video conferences and business presentations, which is a PowerPoint presentation first. I've added my make believe presentation here, and then I'm going to add another layer with my webcam, right? Because we want to engage our audience. So we want to show both our presentation and our face. Here you can also make it square. We have other tutorials specifically for this. For this one, we're just setting it up. So I'm not going to go into much detail here but we'll leave it in the, in the description. Next, I'm going to add, for example, an image to the second preset. All right, I added an image here. This would be my intermission, but obviously you can add any of these sources here. A great thing about Manicam is that we can create dynamic videos without all the expensive hardware. So here I can use my mobile device as a camera and switch points of view. For this tutorial, I've set up a camera back there just to give you an idea of what you can do with this feature. But the same principle applies if you have bigger offices, storage rooms, warehouses, outdoor locations and so on. Now that everything is ready, let's set up the remote control to start our live video. Next, let's download the Manicam app on the device that we plan to use as a remote control. I have my iPad here, so I'm going to be using it as my remote control. And I'm going to go to App Store. Uh, the links will be available in the description for both Android and iOS. Manicam. So we can see here, uh, we can download it and let's open it. All right, now that it's downloaded, we can come to this button here to account and devices, and we're going to log into the same account that we have here on the computer. So we're logged in. Um, you can define output resolution, all those details. But in this case, since it's just the remote control, we don't need to worry about that. So now that our app is connected, we can come here to Manicam desktop and select one of the presets, the empty presets, just click on it and we're going to connect to that device. So here I can see my iPad, I'm going to connect and I'm going to accept on my device. And we can see that now it's connected and on the iPad, you can see on top there a little remote control icon. So we can just click on the icon and now we can see our presets there so we can switch between our presets from that device. So for example, if I click here, we can see that we switch and so on and so forth. And that's all the setup we need. Now we can get up and carry on with our presentation. This helps you deliver a closer look and a hands-on approach to any live demonstration, which means your viewers are fully engaged and can understand the message clearly. We hope you found this video helpful and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also, if you have any other questions, just drop them down in the comment section below. If you want to learn all the basics for Manicam Lite, watch this video next.